<laughs> the Rowan Bush Community Center for decades has been the center of the universe for, for families in this town. And I'm certainly one of those families. Um, Camp Weedamoof, there's a show of hands who remembers Camp Weedamoof. <laughs> uh, I was in preschool here. Uh, I took my PSATs, I took three karate classes and never went back. <laughs> and um, especially, I'm very excited that my daughter uh, just started gymnastics a few weeks ago. She's back there, you can hear her with my, my uh, chief of staff, Jeff Tucker. <laughs> and um, she's gonna be starting preschool in May. So I'm very, very excited about that. But this is something that uh, is really a team effort that's been echoed uh, by Mark, by Jody. And I just wanna thank the Board of Selectmen, the uh, permanent uh, building committee, and um, Michelle Sullivan and your team, uh, and that, the, the seamless transition you had here. Uh, this is a very exciting thing for me, exciting for the families of Westford. So on behalf of the Massachusetts House of Representatives, be it known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offer sincerest congratulations to Rodenbush Community Center and the town of West, Westford and recognition of the grand opening of your newly renovated center, which will enrich the lives of the citizens of Westford for years to come by offering programs and services in the fields of education, entertainment, health, and the arts. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and hopes for future good fortune, given this ninth day of March 2019, signed by Jim Arciero and the Speaker of the House, Robert DeLeo. Congratulations, Michelle. Yep. Town of West. chance we could, working with town officials and subcontractors, the OPM Bill Kennison, architect Don Mills, clerk of the works Bob Snow, and Nelko Steve Gauthier and April Bacchus were careful and thorough for the town. All involved valued maintaining the historical integrity of the building and the cost effectiveness of the project. For historical renovations such as Rodenbush, we had a very low number of unforeseen conditions due in part to the completeness of the architectural and engineering drawings, but also due to a respect for the construction and the management process. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate this gorgeous building and to uh, admire the hard work that will take us into the 21st century. 